Hey, ever since we were kids, we've all known and loved bikes. And let's face it, most of us can ride one with our eyes closed. So, why tinker with a classic? Well, sometimes reinventing the wheel can make for a way more comfortable ride. Check this out. Bikes can have caterpillar wheels. Yeah, it looks a bit funky, but it's actually pretty chill to ride. And bikes don't just vary in shape, they can also be made from some surprising materials. Take bamboo, for instance. Not your typical bike material, right? This cool idea kicked off as a charitable project in Ghana and has since evolved into the brand My Boo. These bikes are handcrafted in Ghana and get their finishing touches in Germany. Plus, they've got Hakuna Matata written on them, which means no worries. Perfect for a laid-back cruise. It's not just regular bikes that get these upgrades. Motorbikes can too. Check out the B-Ride. This motorbike has a versatile four-season track designed to handle all kinds of terrain and weather conditions. For snowy terrains, there's a specialized track that offers better grip and load-bearing capacity, boosting performance in tough environments. In 1930, John Archibald Purvis introduced his latest patent, a unique vehicle called the Dynosphere. Now, at first glance, you might mistake it for a tire with a very unusual design, covered in square-shaped holes that create a peculiar pattern. But take a closer look, and you'll spot a person inside the wheel. That's the inventor himself taking his creation for a spin. Now, initially, John Archibald developed two prototypes, a smaller electric version and another powered by a gasoline engine. The gasoline model boosted either 2.5 or 6 horsepower and could reach top speeds of 25 to 30 miles per hour. This prototype stood 10 feet tall, was made of iron latticework, and weighed around 1,000 pounds. The next version featured 10 outer hoops covered with a leather lining, designed to minimize ground contact. The driver's seat and motor were combined into one unit, mounted on wheels that ran along the interior rails of the outer hoop. When powered forward, this unit would attempt to climb the spherical rails, causing the lattice cage to roll forward. Steering was pretty basic, yet hard. The driver had to lean in the desired direction. Now, fun fact, John Archibald had a historical co-author for his invention, none other than Leonardo da Vinci himself. Okay, they didn't exactly collaborate, but John Archibald drew inspiration from Leonardo's works. The invention is almost 100 years old, and you probably guessed it wasn't a huge success. You don't see them on the streets, after all. Did it work? Yes, it did move along just fine, but with a slight catch. It was almost impossible to break. Yeah, I can see where that would be somewhat limiting. So John Archibald's huge tire-like vehicle didn't work out. 30 years later, in the 1960s, the tire company Goodyear had a brilliant but somewhat wacky idea. Why not create tires that light up? These tires were made from a single piece of synthetic rubber and featured bulbs inside the wheel, making the entire tire <laughs> glow brightly. The plan was to offer a variety of colors, and while these tires looked stunning in the dark, they didn't perform well in wet conditions. Plus, they had a nasty habit of melting under heavy braking, which isn't exactly safe. So the idea was eventually shelved. Now, if you spot someone wearing what looks like a giant diaper on their head, say at an airport, hold on snapping a sneaky pic to share with your friends for a laugh. The chances are that weirdo is actually pretty content because they're sporting something proudly called an original napping pillow. This thing is designed to block out light with two holes on the top for your hands if you want to catch some Zs at a desk. It cushions your head while letting you breathe easily, hence the cut in the nose and the mouth area. Now, I can't decide if it looks more like a bizarre medieval mask or a costume straight out of a heavy metal concert. But let's talk practicality. At 17.7 inches tall, it may not be exactly the most compact item to bring on a plane for a short flight, though it can be a lifesaver for a super long-haul transatlantic journey. Hey, I'm not done showing you the weird stuff you can wear on your head. Check this out. It's a head crane. Instead of pouring your cereal into a bowl like a normal person, you can use this milk-powered hydraulic crane device. The arms are operated by syringes filled with milk, mimicking the hydraulics of large industrial diggers. Just push and pull the plungers to move the arms and shovel cereal from the box to your bowl. The grand finale? 
press down the white plunger to squirt the milk into the bowl, and yippee, breakfast is served. All right, you might not be sold on that crane gadget, but I've got something you'll love. The Rion Pocket, Japan's must-have summer device. It's like having an AC unit attached to your body. This wearable air conditioner goes around your neck and under your clothes, using sensors to detect your physical activity and adjust the cooling level automatically. This keeps you comfortable and saves battery life. Now, the idea for this innovation came 35 years ago, when a Sony engineer was on vacation in Southeast Asia. There were many factors he noticed, and all of them summed up together led to the concept of individual cooling systems like fan jackets. In 2004, the first fan jackets were launched. Though initially not very comfortable with quick battery drain and frequent malfunctions, these jackets have seen a resurgence in popularity this year, especially among outdoor workers. The new digitally controlled jackets feature two electric fans around the lower back, creating a personal microenvironment with a gentle breeze to keep wearers cool. Ever thought about how much more you could get done without the constant distraction of social media? Well, that's the idea behind the Ampere Traction Timer. Here's how it works. You place your phone in a special box, which then blocks access to the device. You set the duration for your tech-free time, and once the timer is up, you can access your phone again. The developers believe this smart timer can boost concentration and make a great gift for anyone struggling with phone addiction. It's all about encouraging users to achieve deeper focus as part of their daily routine. Or, hey, maybe try some self-control. It's free. Here's a fun indie project for you. A guy invented shoes that let him walk on water. Inspired by Leonardo da Vinci, these shoes allow you to stroll on water and cruise beneath the surface. They're powered by large electrical motors and propellers attached to the user's legs. While they might remind you of a jet ski, they're more compact, making them a unique invention on their own. With some practice, you can even jump out of the water and glide along the surface. By the way, this guy wasn't the only one who attempted such an invention. Meet Dwarka Prasad, who's come up with a clever way to walk on water using giant specially designed shoes filled with thermocol. These shoes are fitted to each foot and come with thermocol-filled oars for added buoyancy. The lightweight thermocol provides just the right amount of float. The water shoes consist of two floats bonded to a Rexine sheet, all attached to metal straps with back foot support. They're also tied together to keep them from drifting too far apart, making them easier to control. In India, there aren't many alternatives for crossing water bodies other than boats. Ambitious bicycles are one option using air-filled floats and propellers. So these shoes were a good idea. They were invented back in the 80s, yet they're still in use in the rural parts of India. Finally, the invention straight from the 60s for those who wish for the perks of having a cat but are not ready to commit. Designed to scare off rats and mice, it turns out the rodents weren't buying it. Plus, it couldn't cuddle with you after a long day. On the bright side, <laughs> it didn't shred your sofa or bring home any unwanted gifts. That invention didn't work out, and people are still trying to invent electric pets. Nah, we may have the weirdest of the bikes, but no one will ever replace an actual purring cat. Trust me on this. Has your trusty phone ever let you down? <laughs> More times than you can count? It always seems to run out of juice at the worst possible moment. You forget to top it off, or you end up in an area with no service. And let's not forget how useless it can be in an emergency, like during a tornado when there's no signal. But fear not, there's a cool project called Meshtastic that uses a wireless protocol to keep you connected with your friends. It's like magic, using a radio band called LoRa for encrypted messages. It works in literally any external conditions. Plus, each device can act as a repeater to extend the range of your messages perfect for disaster recovery or just keeping tabs on your kids. For less than 25 bucks, you can get a starter kit to join the Meshtastic fun. Add a GPS module and a battery and you've got your own private channel. No more stressing when your kids are out and about. You can instantly see where they are. And if you're feeling daring, you can even send low bitrate audio through the airwaves. Now I'll bet there's a bunch of things your car just can't do. Can it lean into corners? Yeah, I don't think so. What about adjusting its own width to park easier? 
I know your answer is no, but let me show you something then. This cutie is called Trigo EV, and even though it looks like a futuristic stroller, it's actually a fully functional quadricycle you can totally drive. It was initially created for delivery and car sharing purposes, but it turned out cooler and way more comfy than expected. If you ever find yourself driving this electric, yeah, let's call it a car, shall we? You won't need anything else but a tiny patch of land to park it. It has a maximum speed of 56 miles per hour. Not bad for such a tiny car. In cruise driving mode, it measures 58 inches wide, but a mechanism allows the front wheels to retract toward the chassis, reducing the width to 34 inches. The electric four-wheeler weighs slightly over 1,000 pounds, with a total permissible mass of around 1,600 pounds. Right, it all looks futuristic and fun, but I feel safer in good old SUVs. Ever wished you had an extra arm to help you out when your hands are full? Scientists have figured out how to control a robotic third arm using just your diaphragm muscle. It's as easy as pie, if pie is easy. This awesome discovery was made in Switzerland as part of the super cool Third Arm Project. They had volunteers wearing exoskeleton arms and a sensor belt to track their diaphragm movements, all while navigating a virtual world in VR. After over 150 sessions with 61 volunteers, most people found it a breeze to control three arms at once. They could even multitask, chatting and looking around while using the third arm. Now recently, a new fully autonomous delivery service with fast food joints was launched. This means no people involved from pickup to drop off. It's called Flytrex, and it's been delivering using drones since 2017 teaming up with big names in retail and food to bring you quick and cheap deliveries. They're currently flying high in North Carolina and Texas, with plans to expand nationwide. Their goal is to make deliveries faster and cheaper using their trusty drones. Your order could be at your door in as little as 5 minutes after it's ready. Now, that's speedy. Flytrex got a huge increase in customers and even FAA approval for long-range drone deliveries in 2023. Partnering with big brands like Unilever and Papa John's, they're definitely on a roll. More a pizza roll. The Monocab Owl project is all about making a super cool monorail vehicle for getting around in rural areas sustainably. The Monocab is a clever little autonomous monorail vehicle that can balance itself on a regular rail without any extra support. Its slim design allows it to zip along single track lines in both directions perfect for some unique rail mobility ideas. It's like a fun service-on-demand option that's way more exciting than your usual transportation choices, especially for reviving old railway lines in rural areas. Everyone on the Monocab Owl team is stoked about shaking things up in rural mobility. Right now, there's a lack of good, eco-friendly and budget-friendly options for getting around in less populated areas. Reactivating old railway lines is a great start. But we need some fresh ideas to really make it work. That's where these small, self-driving rail vehicles come in. They bring together the best of rail travel with on-demand booking and a cool digital navigation system. Look here! Can you identify what this weird-looking object is? It's a mobile solar container with foldable solar panels for green energy on the go. Just pop out the panels, unfold them, and you're good to power up equipment and properties with green energy wherever you are. The solar container can extend up to almost 400 feet in length when fully unfolded and has 240 solar panels. It's perfect for both on- and off-grid uses, like rescue missions and outdoor events. And it only takes about 5 hours to set up. Easy peasy. There's even an automatic conveyor system for easy folding and unfolding of the panels. Just push a button and start harnessing solar power. SolarCont, the Austrian company that invented it, estimates this mobile solar container can power around 32 households. Virtual meetings are all the rage nowadays. Remote chats are cool, but let's be real. They're no match for face-to-face -face meetings. We can see each other, hear each other, but it's still pretty flat and 2D. Or shall I say it was flat? The thing is, Holobox from HoloConnects is bringing holograms to life. This super cool device lets you project a life-size hologram of yourself or anyone else inside a funky box. Just plug it in, connect it to the internet, and voila! You've got a hologram ready to go. 
You can even connect multiple boxes to showcase big stuff like cars or anything else. Now, holograms are a massive game changer for remote communication. Imagine chatting with someone and seeing them in 3D like they're right there with you. Plus, it adds a personal touch to presentations, training sessions, ads, you name it. What do you think? Does this look cool or creepy? Check out the latest creation from a rock star team of engineers at NASA Ames Research Center and KBR, a robot system that can autonomously build structures using lattice blocks. Their paper in Science Robotics explains how these robots and blocks work together to create amazing things. Designed for future lunar missions, these robots can lay down foundations for shelters before astronauts arrive. Three robots work together to carry and connect blocks with twisty edges, similar to assembling IKEA furniture. They have already built impressive structures, like a shelter made of 256 blocks in just over four days. Imagine what they could do on the moon. Experience the interactive pearl sculpture by Breakfast. No food implied, just the name of the company. It's placed on a huge cruise ship called the Icon of the Seas. The stunning creation imitates the ocean's vibes, with rolling waves and shooting stars, each tile placed in a neat Fibonacci sequence. Using real-time data from the Caribbean, this sculpture changes constantly to match the current weather and tides, bringing the ocean to life before your eyes. Yeah, this invention won't change your life, but it's meant to nurture your soul. Have you heard about the Seattle-based startup Jettoptera? They're developing innovative vertical takeoff and landing vehicles with bladeless propulsion systems, promising a future of quiet, safe, and fast urban flight. By 2050, 70% of the population will be living in cities, leading to crowded streets. But Jetoptera's fluidic propulsion system offers a solution, using air pressure technology for silent operation. Jetoptera is also working on a high-speed VTOL for the U.S. Air Force, with plans for passenger-carrying prototypes by 2026. Well, that's exciting! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side!